So rejecting Yeshua and misleading. John eight twenty four Yeshua devars and was talking that you should amin in the Shamam of Yeshua Hamelech Yehuda, lest you mate Ra, lest you die in sin. A lot of people don't know this, but there is a Ra that was worshipped in ancient Egypt who was circumcised, and it's written about in the Book of the Dead in ancient Egypt, in case you wanted to know. I'm glad I compiled this information for you guys, so that way you can figure some of this stuff out. Hopefully you delve in depth more, and you get the first Hebrew primer, and you begin your journey of learning all this stuff. Luke twelve eight nine Yeshua was talking about in Devar that you should recognize his Shemam before Adam, so you will not be denied before the Elohim. So recognize the Shemam of Yeshua. John three eighteen, the one that means in the Shemam of Yeshua Hamelech Yoda will not be judged. If you abide in Yeshua so that you may have plenty of fruit, and if you don't, be cast out as a dried branch thrown into a fire. And then also Matthew twenty five forty, what you do unto the least, you do unto me. So you got to be careful what you do unto the, to those that mean in Yeshua HaMelech Yehuda, because you'll be doing that to Yeshua, so be careful. If you're going to attack anybody, make sure they're they're pagan worshippers or that they're worshipping another shaman. Like, if they were worshipping Hasatan, you could probably uh, crush them if and only if they rejected Yeshua as HaMelech Yehuda. Now, John 15, 28, John 15, 23 talks about those that hate or don't like Yeshua also hate Yeshua's Mishpacha. I've got another video on that I'm making it should be coming out in a couple days. And thank you for taking the time to watch this and try to keep to the Shamam of Yeshua HaMelech Yehuda.